<laughs> all right. Um, all right, 10 seconds, then Hunter yeah. just go right into that. Mm, like it's gonna be a good day when New Gods gets canceled. That was funnier the second time you said it. <laughs> yeah, you put some fucking you put some salt on it. <laughs> I really drove it in that time. Oh. Oh, man. I don't. Okay, here's my thing with that. Like, I don't know who the. I don't really know Ava. What the hell's her? Duvernay. 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 Um, I'm not familiar with her body of work, but mm -hmm. I don't think she's getting anything after Wrinkle in Time apparently is like... No. <laughs> Fuck that. Well, I might be incorrect, but wasn't she in the running to direct Black Panther? Yes, she was. Yes, she was. Oh, oh but, thank um, goodness she didn't. Well, There's an alternate okay. universe where that happened, and it's the biggest disaster of all time. So, <sighs> so, so the problem for me is I haven't seen any of her other work either, um, but... Selma is apparently amazing, I guess. Selma is supposed to be amazing, yeah. Yeah, like everything I've heard. Um, and I've heard that the problem is uh, Ringle in Time might have been too big of a step. Uh, she maybe needed a couple movies in between. Um, and that's why the movie is so kind of messy. Um, I, I really haven't looked into it, though. I've been All I've busy seen panicking. I've screenshots so. of Oprah looking like uh, fucking... What's her name? Uh, fuck, oh, Killer Frost, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> here's the thing: hasn't they been trying? Haven't they been attempting a Wrinkle in Time adaptation for like fucking fifty years? It feels oh yeah, like. and, and they've done movies it's, before. They've yeah, done, they've done movies they and TV shows. And let me tell you something: Wrinkle in Time is kind of overrated. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I haven't it just, read yeah. it since I was like twelve. It just seems just from like just like glancing at it, I'm like, maybe this is just too abstract and you should all just stop. Maybe it shouldn't be a two hour movie. <laughs> maybe yeah. maybe you just shouldn't make it. How about we just stop making it? No, so I know this the source probably material. Why, it's probably why we don't have a movie of I, I have no mouth and I must scream. Yeah. <laughs> don't ever make oh. that movie because it's going to be horrifying. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, <I'm impressing. laughs> Please it, don't. It apparently, it apparently made for a pretty decent PC game. Yes. But that's because video games are an entirely different form it's of media. It's also... It's it's not it's a loose adaption. It's not a full on adaption. Yeah, like, there are there are mm. things in that game that does not happen in the, in the novel. In fact, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a totally separate story. Well, it's it's also Harlan Ellison is a had monster. A well, he is. He's he's Frank Miller. If Frank Miller would just accept his monstrosity, yes. Um, but Frank, but <laughs> and if you Harlan stole Elson. Terminator from Frank Miller, also yes, yes, um, yes, yes, yes. And he wrote for uh, Star Trek for quite a few years. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's, Wait, it's what? probably why like there's no yeah. There's yeah, Harlan no... Ellison wrote for the original Star Trek. Yeah, that's shit. mind blowing, but okay. And, uh, and like James Cameron there's... totally stole Terminator from him, one hundred percent. Yeah, he did. Also. I think he yeah. he actually openly admits to that. Um, yeah, he does. There's there's a reason why we don't have any straight up Lovecraft movies that aren't like Reanimator, and I think Dagon is like the closest you can get to really skirting those myth those mythos without like scaring people off because oh, it's Dagon is <laughs> fucking impenetrable. Like <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, and it's also kind of racist. Um, I'm kind of, well, yeah, but you know, I mean, look who the source material you know, is. Yeah. You know, uh, there's that whole odd amount of mountain. Mount, Mountains of Madness fiasco with Guillermo del Toro that I kind of uh, just want a lot. Fucking make it, please. It, it'll, never It'll never no. happen. It'll never yeah. happen. But, no. It'll never happen. Not fuck you. It'll never happen because a, a, a studio executive would go like, "What do you mean the door opens sideways in a 2D way?" <laughs> what do you? I remember. What do you, what do you mean the landscape doesn't make any sense? Yes. There's like. Wait. How do you spell non-Euclidean? <laughs> There's a. Uh, there was a like an interview like from a long time ago. I can't remember what it was like from a designer from like it was like when the movie was like in early talks and he goes and he was asked like what like Yo like I think it was Yog Shagoth looks like and he goes, Have you ever seen an inside out sock? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like Oh yeah, that's that's that sounds right. <laughs> yeah. I think I think uh, Demon Souls, Dark Souls and Bloodborne have come the closest to like adapting Lovecraft stuff. Oh well, Bloodborne especially from what Bloodborne, I've heard. Bloodborne comes really close to it, I think. That's because like, Bloodborne's like, well, here's a reverse butthole, and now it's got eyeballs and tentacles. Also, <laughs> there are werewolves. Enjoy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And you uh, can but, become one. But 
Demon Souls, uh, the I think the ancient one, the the main villain of Demon Souls, is straight up a Lovecraft monster. He's a Dagon. Um, I think he's well, in the I Dagon. The, or something uh, else. I thought the Dagon were uh, more sea based. Oh, we're, are yeah, the Dagon, Dagon is all fish people. Yeah. Oh, like the the deep ones. I know you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. The deep yeah. old fuckers. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, New Gods. First of all, that's not ever coming out. It's fucking we'll not happening. Movie. No, that's not well. Happening. Here's the thing. It's it's probably gonna happen. Um, yeah, yeah, and I'm gonna hate it. <laughs> well, no. So here's the thing. Like I said, it's her first time making a movie on that scale, which you kind of have to give a lot of credit to that. Like that kills lesser filmmakers like michael mann's second movie is the keep um it's a, oh. it's a terrible I, movie i would I fight anybody movie. no here's the thing you can i understand if you love it it's a terrible movie it's fucking <laughs> awful it is one of it's the worst so, movies ever it's made so weird it's so weird and when you know oh. that originally it was a four-hour movie it makes it <laughs> even weirder i'm looking at I'm looking at screenshots what is that Look, that's, that's a, like a that's a golem Okay. Dude, okay. All right. I love Hunter, how you know exactly what I'm talking Hunter, about. <laughs> Hunter. The keep, the keep is about Nazis who okay. find Keep's a going. fucking temple and they're like going. treasure and then they open the wall like this wall to get treasure and then they're turned inside out. And yep. then a golem comes out and talks to uh young Gandalf uh and, and okay. stuff happen. And I'm a sold. young Ian stick. McKellen. Stick I'm is sold. in there also. Um I'm sold. Yeah. Kevin like it's... it's all music. It's like Tangerine <laughs> Dream music and yep. lots of weird lighting effects. And then like a golem is turning people inside yeah. out. It's his follow up to my favorite movie of all time, Thief. Like, and anybody who knows me for a while knows that I love that movie. Um, so it's the follow up to that, and it's terrible. And they gave him like, I don't know, the equivalent of two hundred million dollars at the time. Um, people who go from making really small, secluded movies to gigantic budgets usually do not do well. That's Colin just... Trevorrow! Sorry. <laughs> well, I mean, y- yeah. He, he made Jurassic World and then made a Star Wars movie. Wait, no. No, he, he, made... didn't. no he didn't. No, he no. didn't. Um, no, Josh, no. Josh, Josh Trank, got... who we've talked about before, went directly from Chronicle into Fantastic Four. Okay? Uh, uh-huh. Okay? There are very few I mean, times where this yeah, works, but where you go directly fair... from one to the other. To, to be fair for Josh Trank, like... <clears throat> That movie has more going on behind the scenes, though. It does. Yeah. Yeah. But, but like, like I can name on one hand the number of times someone went from a movie that small to something that big, and it worked. And it's Star Wars, and that was forty years ago. Uh, you... What about? I mean, well, could we could we argue that Creed was a relatively small movie? Yeah, but he went from Fruitvale Station to Creed. Oh, yeah, you're right. I forgot about Fruitvale Station. Yeah, like he went from a small movie to a pretty middle-budget movie with not a lot of effects. It's fairly grounded, and then he went to Black Panther. I actually saw, there's a a YouTube channel I follow. Uh, I actually have it pulled up right here. His name is uh, George Rockall Schmidt, and he does these little uh, movie vlogs. And he does a whole video about uh, film studios sabotaging their their movies. Yep. And talks in depth about Fantastic Four and how like it seems like Fox was like, yeah, we want this, and they saw it. They're like, we don't want this. Mm-hmm. Let's Act make it bad. Film. Well, because well, studios they'll take pitches that sound cool all the time, and then they'll see them and they'll say, oh, we did. That's not what we wanted at all. That's not the thing that we asked for. And that happens you constantly. You um, promised. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and also to, uh, they promise no, that it will work. Say this. So yeah. To uh, touch back on the uh, keep real quick. So what you're telling me, Arlen, is it's a prequel to the leftovers. It is a prequel to the leftovers. Holy shit! Um, <laughs> Holy it, shit. <laughs> that's that's how Kevin Senior got so weird. It's also part of the Daredevil universe, so <laughs> it's 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 very it's very confusing. Um, well, yeah. no, because uh, Kevin Senior went off and he uh, he did the leftovers, whatnot, and right. tried to go to Australia, and then he became stick. He went blind. Right. There's, there's a, to, there's a goal people on that. Yeah. There's a goal. Yeah. I'm gonna kill. <laughs> and then he traveled I'll back in it. time, and the events of the keep occur. Uh, so that's yeah. that's how it works. Um, no, no, Frank oh, Castle would be like totally it. on board with the golem that turns Nazis inside out. <laughs> he'd be, he'd yeah, be really yeah, excited yeah, about probably. that. Sit back, just be like, hell yeah. <laughs> 
and the golem would probably give him a sandwich too. Yeah. Well, the golem yeah. once, once it gets out of there, it will do the same thing to the entire world. So it it doesn't it doesn't focus completely on Nazis. Uh, well, I mean, then, then Michael Mann wasn't actually paying attention to Gollum mythology because they're not supposed to travel very far from the riverbed where the mud to make them come from. Well, okay, so, well, okay, so. it's okay. There's some, they go deep into the lore, and it's not actually a Gollum. It's okay. taking the form of a Gollum, but it's actually okay. a Jewish demon. It's a demon. Oh shit! Or Devic. Um, okay, that's so. That's, that's actually like kind of cool. Actually, <laughs> yeah. Like, I want to see this movie now. Yeah, yeah. So they go deep into I... like weird Jewish mythology, which is kind of cool because it's not explored very often. So no, yeah. There's that terrible movie about the uh, box that uh, that yeah. I forget what it was, starring oh, Thomas Wayne. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, and, and he punches someone. He punches Probably. a demon in a box. That's what he does. Yeah. Uh, in my head, I don't know what well. that is, but I'm gonna punch it. <laughs> He's like, "Oh no, my family! I'll fight you." And then there's a tornado in the background. Um, <laughs> uh, no, um, okay, so yeah, new gods. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. This Here's the thing. I fully trust that as a director, she might have learned from I her mean, experiences. And I hope so. This movie could be good. Um, or it could just be trash. It could just be utterly here, terrible. Here's... Um, it's WB though, so all my uh, like, I'm uh, immediately I'm just like, all right. I don't, I'm, I don't I'm, want it to be WB trying to do Guardians of the Galaxy with the new gods. Oh, like, yeah, that's a and I, I have Holy a real shit. bad feeling that's what's going to happen. I will, I will walk out of the theater at that point. <laughs> like, Here's the thing, I don't know make... if it's even that because so anybody who's like even read a Wikipedia article about the new gods knows that. George Lucas might have got high one night, and then he read himself some new gods, and then he might have copied a couple things. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah I, the, the, the director has said that her favorite superhero is Big Barda, right. so that automatically means it's going to be a Big Barda and Scott Free story. Oh yeah, means hell yeah. It's, yeah, it's going to sidestep a lot of the really weird stuff from the new gods. All like, right, never mind. I'm back in. You if, say that, if, but Warner Brothers having its own Star Wars is something that I don't think that they would. That they would avoid, like, but that would require them not to sabotage it. Well, that's true. They that's, that's the other yeah, point. They, that's, they yeah. could have had their own MCU, and they just were like, nah. <laughs> they, yep. they could have their own Avengers, but yeah. Well, they could have had their own a lot of things, but they don't give a fuck. So I mean that, and I will not be satisfied if there's not at least one shot where someone's gigantic hand is reaching towards the screen, or. Or there's like a box. <coughs> well, there or... needs to be a mother box or a grandma goodness. I want to see. Uh... I want to see some Kirby crackles. Yes. Get some of that in there. I forgot yes. to say that. Like after after Dean and Ashley and my roommates finished Justice League, they were like, you know, it wasn't bad, but why were they after the All Spark? The All Spark. Goddamn. I was like. Auto I box. Nothing, I was like, well, I got nothing to say about that. It's really yeah. weird. There are there are all these different like pop culture easter eggs or not easter eggs touchstones that we all have that very clearly stole things from other things but because well, they stole it they kind of have claim over it um, i mean the mother box how long like that was that's been around since the 60s right, right. Like, and the tesseract has been around about about as long yeah and, and the old spark let's say the 80s cause right like... cuz it's from um it's from the movie right like I think so, no, because yeah. it was it was the matrix of leadership in the movies. They mm -hmm. didn't ever call it the all spark. The yeah, all and in spark. in the movies they divided it into two things, kind of. Which Megatron. is Megatron. Yeah. Not. Uh, well, no, you could open it up, and the, you know, uh, you <laughs> look inside. Well, not, I, I'm a, I'm I mean, the Bay movies. Need. In the Bay movies, oh, they're two. Yeah, I don't... He he turned them into two separate things because <laughs> why not? Because he needed that many MacGuffins. I don't yep. think he was paying attention that much. It's almost like the second movie is just the first movie, but a little bit longer. No, no, yeah. like, like Michael Bay had, doesn't have object permanence. <laughs> He's a baby. <laughs> He's like, oh, this is the same script. Oh, uh, whatever. I, I don't. Know. And so, like, because my, because Michael Bay doesn't have object permanence, his movies don't eat. <laughs> and like people yeah. just forget about shit that happened 15 minutes earlier. Yeah, no. So like, why, why does no one question the fact that they were in the specific institute and they step outside and they're in a fucking desert? I mean, I question that a lot. 
<laughs> in my head, I can't believe I'm saying this. Uh, the big blackbird jet or whatever, he teleported them twice. Um, that doesn't make any sense, but in my head, that's that's what happened. He teleported I mean, them again. Y- I guess you can try. You can try to justify it all you want. Like I, it's still dumb. Is- the problem is he opens the back door. I know. The... <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm aware of this. It's really what stupid. If, what if they within the front door and the back door is like all desert? It back makes no sense. Yeah, Washington, D.C. is the center of a big giant sandy crater. Like, I'm, just... I'm trying to think of a bad porn metaphor with you guys talking about the back door of the desert. Okay, then. <laughs> anyway. Um... So... Moving on to things that are good. Okay, uh, so yeah, so this, wow, I did not expect us to go where we've gone so far. Um, okay, so the first word we were going to talk about before we're Hunter t- had a bombing joke. Uh, uh, the Infinity War trailer dropped today. Um, oh my and god. It was amazing. Fuck. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. There's something, I... there's something really cool about capes in the MCU. Or, like, yeah. you just see the outline of one, and you're like... Ugh. Yeah. Seeing Thor's cape, mm. um, I did not expect the nerd boner that I got. From that. Yeah. For some reason, I was just like, yes. I'm and when he, does, when he summoned the lightning, like, that's the coolest thing in every one of his movies, regardless of anything else, is whenever he summons lightning. And it's totally him making Stormbreaker, too. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, it is. Or it has to be. Oh, he's dead, though. He's absolutely Oh, yeah. He's... I... I don't know. My, I I have some theories on what's going to happen, but anyways, yeah. continue going. We can get to that because in a minute. Just the shot of like Thanos holding him and like like that like makes me think, oh, he's gonna snap his neck right there. Like no, okay, so I think that's before he's with Rocket and Groot. So, um, I that's think. It, that is totally before it because he has to get from the ship situation at the end right. of Ragnarok to the Guardians. Yeah. Yeah. So I think Thanos is going to like pluck him out the window. Like, yeah. <laughs> I think that what's going to happen is he's going to think Rock and Groot are dead, and because Gam- that's why you don't see them with Drax, Star Lord, and uh, Gamora. Oh, Gamora. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Other than in the first trailer, that's why you haven't seen them yeah. since. Um, I am wondering how the timeline works out because. I'm assuming that that shot of young Gamora is a flashback, and it might even be the cold open, because um, they like to do that wouldn't, for the cold opens. They like to do flashbacks. Uh, so, say, 1979 or whatever. Um, well, that and it's going me. to satisfy a lot of uh, angry nerds who are saying, like, oh, we don't even see Thanos in his armor walking around. Like, there I mean, you go. It, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. The armor looks pretty great. I like that yeah, a lot. I'll say he does. shows up in Wakanda in full armor. Well, he didn't have his helmet on. That was the thing that people were bitching about yeah. the most I saw. He doesn't have the gold breastplate, the full... I, I, here's the, the thing, though. Great... I like him in a tank top. That kind of... I don't know yeah, why. Thanos... Yeah, because he's like, he's like, all right, time to take it easy. Right. In both of these trailers, Thanos has, like, the best line in them. Or he's mm-hmm. just like... Uh, I don't remember the first one, but it was something like... One something... doesn't consider fun when balancing the universe, but this doesn't put a smile on my face. Yeah. Yeah. And then this one, he's like, I hope they remember you. And you're like, fuck, dude. He has, he has some really good lines so far. I will say that. But uh, that's it's just that's just flashback a little bit to the first Ultron trailer where Ultron okay. had some of the best lines ever. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I still think still... Ultron still has some of the best lines. He, he, he still does. does. He's great. He's yeah. great. Um, but his actions, hey! I mean, his plan's um, a little bit roundabout. Right yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, th- yeah. Yeah. Well, regardless of uh, my opinion of of the character, but uh, I imagine it must put a smile on your face, Arlen, to see uh, the Ebony Maw torturing Doctor Strange at that one point in the trailer. I, I, okay, here's the, so here's the thing: I don't dislike the character of Doctor Strange. No, I think Benedict Cumberbatch does a good job. Like, I just I don't, don't like that bad. movie. <laughs> I think the, I think Arlen's problem lies more with the movie than. Doctor Strange himself. Right. Like, I really like his theme song. It's really cool. Um, but the movie is really bad. Like, the movie eh. is like, I watched it, yeah. I watched it again, and like, I was like, when does this get, like, fun? Yeah. <laughs> it's so boring. It's now. a lot of like, setup and a lot of, it, it's, it's a lot of world building. There's, yeah, there's setup to his it. cake, cake, cake. Like, we're, right. His cake. His cake. 
It's well, like, here's the thing. There are good like, parts of it, though. That's the thing. I'm not saying the there whole, are good parts. The whole first half of that movie is set up for that cape. It is. I swear to God. Yeah. It's like, okay. Um, can we get to it, please? <laughs> I, it I'm just... a big, I like the physical gags in that movie. I, yeah. I'm still entertained by when he throws that fucking weird-ass rack device onto Matt mm-hmm. Nicholson. And it, like, makes mm-hmm. him step backwards and kneel. Yeah, there's, yes. there's good stuff in there. <laughs> Again, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not saying there's not good stuff, but here's the thing. Even... Iron Man Two has good stuff. <laughs> it's 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 mar it's Marvel bad. You know what I mean? Right. It's just like, yeah. Fair it's enough. just like it's the one. It's weaker. Fair right. enough. Right. Yeah. Which doesn't mean it won't be an improvement of the sequel because they'll do as Doctor Strange oh, yeah. do. Yeah. Oh yeah. As long yeah. as it's not Thor two, it should be fine. <laughs> oh, holy shit! No. <laughs> oh, please don't. No. 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 Um, but there's a lot to digest in this fucking trailer. There really um, is. Well, how uh, how familiar are you guys with the uh, Hickman run on Avengers? Know it by what? name only, really. <laughs> yeah, same. Um, Not at all. Okay. If it's anything um, like East of West, I imagine it's pretty crazy, though. Um, well, it's 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 relatively crazy, but it's more just things that I'm seeing in this in these trailers. They are pulling ridiculously heavily from the Hickman run. Like that doesn't surprise the, me. The Obsidian or whatever they're called in this movie. Um, the Black I've, Order. The Black Order, yeah. They were originally called the Cull Obsidian in the comic, but regardless. That's so fucking cool. Um, that's yeah, like well, that's, way cooler, oh, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's the one guy, uh, Super Giant, I think, got named the Cull Obsidian or something along, or the Black his Order, name, I forget. His name was Super Giant? Yes. They should have yeah. kept it. Well, Super Giant in reference to, like, a, a Super Giant star or yeah, planet. But, but it's, um, it, it's rad. But, yeah, all those characters are working with Thanos, but... In the comic, there's a two prong attack going on because there's a bigger story that uh, that Hickman's trying to tell, and then Thanos attacking the Earth while a lot of the Avengers are off planet. And part of that was them attacking Wakanda because Namor told them there was a Soul Stone there, or at least a stone there, uh-huh. one of the Infinity Stones. Oh, so yeah, it's Namor obviously doesn't have anything to do with this, <clears throat> yeah. but well, as far as we there. know, um... oh, stop it. Stop it. That skeleton no, that holds his no, rights yeah, in the universe exactly. is not letting go of them. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think I think just how much we've seen Wakanda is more than enough evidence that, yeah, this is where this is yeah. where Thanos finally figures out where the last stone he needs is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. As a, as I was I, saying, uh, Iron Man flat says, like, he's like, our... he's like Iron yeah. Man flat says, he's like, what he needs, we have. That's our advantage. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And then the next shot was Wakanda. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. And yeah. that also ties into that one shot of Doctor Strange being tortured because in the run there's a point where Crimson Ma, I think the character's name is um, Ebony Ma, Ebony Ma, thank you um, ends up actually inhabiting or taking control of part of Doctor Strange's yeah, brain Ebony Ma, essentially. Ebony Ma is really cool because his whole thing is like he's not a good fighter he's just no. really really smart mm-hmm. he's kind of like he's, the thinker he's charismatic yeah yeah, except you actually know what his plan is because he's yeah. being told what it is by Thanos. He's not, he's not actually an idiot. I've got some <laughs> thoughts on that when we get to Flash that might be pretty hot. Um, but, um... Uh, fuck. I heard a theory about the Soul Stone. And what color is, I, what color is the Soul Stone? Purple. Orange. I'm, I know it's going to be orange, yeah. What is the hue of most of this trailer? Orange. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Uh, well, someone has someone has posited that like a lot of this movie might take place within a construct that was created with the Soul Stone. <gasps> oh, that could be. So it's like uh, Twilight. It's Battle World. Breaking Dawn Part Two. Huh. <laughs> don't you don't you dare! God damn it, Arlen. <laughs> Remember, what? Dare. remember when the whole movie took place in a dream sequence? <laughs> no, because I've no, never someone, seen them. I'm just saying, don't you no, dare compare these. The, uh... the shows have said that um, Tony's technology from uh, Civil War, the uh, the the fucking what did he call it? Barf. Right. His uh, name is Barf. His name is Barf. <laughs> but that's an. It's I can't remember what that means, but like that tech is going to be used in some way in this movie, and it, it, like in a like an impactful way in the plot. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I mean, I mean, if we if we want to round this out to an extent, anybody have any theories on what they think is going to happen in this movie? Uh, a lot of people are going to die. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's I for think sure. So too. Um, well, I mean, because, anything like, more concrete though? I think because they're clearly setting up another team of Avengers. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's a given. Yeah. Um, but like, 
I think definitely that the um the bleeding edge suit, uh the things on his back look like iron spider legs. Yeah, they so kinda do. To to me, I'm kinda just like they're gonna do something with that. Yeah in, in Spider Man. Um Yeah. I don't know. I don't really have any other concrete theories though. I, like... I'm interested in, in so I didn't read the story because I just I don't want spoilers, but it's a it's an interesting headline to bring up um, that said that Ant Man and the Wasp them not being in the movie is because the plot of that movie has something to do with Infinity War. Um, oh wait, what? Yeah, wait, Ant Man and Wa- Ant Man's not in Infinity War. Well, I don't know. So here's so I have a bring theory. My, um, bring my MCU dad back. I have a very I have a Hashtag. theory, and it might be crazy. But um, and it, it might be an example of Marvel ripping off DC because the, but that's never happened before, of course. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, is Ant Man and Wasp inside Thanos? Dark side existed before Thanos. Okay. Stop that. Well, yeah, but uh, who existed first, Swamp Thing or Man Thing? Um, so. Man Thing. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> um, Actually. The heap existed first, so ha. Oh. Okay, no. you brought out the heap, and now my whole theory is gone. Um, well, I it's don't cool. even Todd know. McFarlane owns the rights. To him. No, so uh, I... so anybody who have any of you heard of the Rock of Ages storyline? Eric, I assume you might have. Yeah. Might know of it. Yes. Um, yes. So the conclusion of the Rock of Ages storyline, as I understand it, is the Green Arrow shoots the atom into Darkseid's head. Am I am I correct in that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yes. I would yeah. not be surprised if some version of that happens at the end of this movie. <laughs> I'd be so into that. Well, I, my theory is, and I mean this, I don't. This isn't based on any concrete facts, but I mean I think I've said this before, but I can almost guarantee that Thor and Cap, or not Thor, Iron Man and Cap are going to die. Um, yep, they're dead. Thor, yeah. I don't think, is going to die. No. I think what's going to happen is he's going to find a new Asgard and pass down the mantle of Thor, for a better think, term, yeah. to somebody oh. else. Um, what's going to happen then in <clears throat> Avengers 4? Because we all goddamn know Avengers 4 is just Infinity War Part 2. You can yeah. stop dancing around it, Marvel. Well, they keep on saying that it's not, and it's like, no, we know it is. <laughs> you like, no, you're not going to be able to tell this entire story in like almost three hours. I don't care how good the story right. is. And also, like, so here's the thing. There, there was a rumor earlier this week, or like, was it yesterday, that Captain Marvel was going to be in the movie. And then later on the same day, they said that she's not in the movie. Which makes me think she is in the movie. She's uh, probably in the goddamn movie. Right, which is like, okay, well, you don't just introduce Captain Marvel at the end of this movie unless there's going to be another movie. <laughs> well, it's continuing with my uh, my theory is what's going to happen is, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Infinity Gauntlet story at all. The one from the which late one? 80s. The Vaguely. late 80s, early 90s, the original one. <laughs> uh, I know Thanos the one... shop. I know that. I, yeah. know, I know Thanos well, kills almost everybody. That's well, what ends up happening in that is that Nebula gets a hold of the Infinity Gauntlet oh. and undoes oh, everything that Thanos did with it. Yeah. So my guess is what's going to happen is if, with Captain America and Iron Man dying in my version of the movie, they'll get brought back to help defeat Thanos. And then when they're putting everything back to normal, they're going to be like, no, we've seen the other side. Like our time on this, our time here is done. Like we need to be at peace and pass on the mantle to whoever they're passing it on to. I could and see that's, that. Yeah. Or like, that's what, that's cap. what the next set series of Avengers are going to be. It's gonna be. That's going to be Bucky officially getting the cap. Right. Cap nod. So Tony Stark becomes head of shield. That's <laughs> well, here's the thing. I wouldn't be surprised if, if even with that possibility, I think I've said this before. If even if they do reset the timeline, that at least one of them doesn't die by the end of it, like permanent death. Like, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it's Tony, um, who gets the permanent death, um, yeah. or any but of them. It, I, I think a, it's there's a, a possibility. I think there's a possibility that Cap gets sent back in time. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't be against that actually. I wouldn't yeah. either. That's actually a very fitting way to wrap up his story. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because you'll you'll notice that we've never met Peggy's husband. We've never seen oh him. that's, that's true awkward. uh so it could just be like <laughs> there's Guess a picture <laughs> and it's chris evans and he has like a monocle and like a mustache <laughs> he's like he's, he's still he's just still nomad nomad uh he just came back and he looked like nomad i had to marry him he's still in the cap outfit 
And, and here's the thing. In 10 years, let's say they retire the cat character. In 10 years, you can say, in 80 years, he aged 10 years. Sure. Um, oh, shit. And he, yeah. but, but he just looks 40 now. And so he can come back in a couple years. And you don't have to worry about him, like, maybe not being as toned as he is now. Like, he can be a little bit older and maybe a little bit slower because he's, yeah. he's 80 years old. <laughs> Man. Yeah. So, or, well, I guess he'd be, like, 200 years old if he did go back in time again. Um, he's going back in time. I, yeah, I, I don't know. Thing, I want that theory now. I want that to be the case. I don't think it will um, be, though. I think... Who do you think is... Like, it's going to be Sebastian Stan, but, like, do you think Falcon has a chance to, like, do anything no. else? No. No. Like, no. I could, I could see He's... him being the head of the Avengers. I could see that, that being a thing. That, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's well, the... even that though, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen because I think they're. I mean, I don't think Black Panther is going to be the head of them, but I mean, they're setting him up too much to be. The yeah. He seems next like Marvel he's going to be like Bucky and T'Challa are going to lead the team. Yeah. I could, I could see that. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I mean, it's um, going to be Bucky. Yeah, this uh, is going to be Bucky's redemption arc. Although I wouldn't be surprised if they waited a couple years What's to have hell? other that's... people take up those roles if they just let the new characters sort of be at the forefront. Um, and I honestly would prefer that a little bit um because that would be more interesting if you just had captain marvel black panther doctor strange scarlet witch sort of be the forefront of the new of the team going on sort of um, well ant-man and wasp and then, as well and then they yeah. do house of n during the eventual no. x-men crossover oh it. no well no, no. So i think they might I, we talked about this but what is she gonna do like no more avengers well <laughs> i could see her being like more enhanced people and that's how they that's how they integrate mutants. Maybe we talked about this though, like when the Fox thing think, came. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm just joking. I don't think they're actually going to do that. But like, I, yeah, I, no, I, they're just going to introduce the Fantastic Four at the end of Avengers Four. God damn it! Holy sh- holy <laughs> shit! What if they do? It would be the perfect timing. No, I just want Doctor Doom. They can yeah. keep for. Just give me Doctor oh, Doom. Okay, Hunter, you, you need to calm yeah. down. Yeah, not gonna happen. Um, Anyways. But yeah, um, also, I want to point out something. We talked about this in the chat. There was a news story that was like, Hulk is going to fight Thanos a lot in this movie. I was like, really? Well, yeah. Did you? No shit. <laughs> yeah, no fucking shit. It's like, and as I said in the chat, I expect there to be a 20-minute fight scene between the two of them. <laughs> it's just them well, repeatedly punching each other in the face. Uh, I can't remember if it was on here someone had brought it up or if I'd read it somewhere, but someone had posited the theory that uh, that's not Tony or Rhodey in the... That is the Hulk. Yeah, that's the Hulk in uh, in the Iron Man (laughs) Hulkbuster armor. Oh my god, I love that so much. And that would explain how he's able to get around so quickly. Maybe. I think... That is so stupid, I love it. The only problem is we see a shot of him as the Hulk running into battle, so I don't think that that's Hulk. Um, I mean, well, but we don't we don't know when right. the Hulkbuster armor shows up. Mm-hmm. That's I mean, the thing we I don't really know the timeline of any though. of this. <laughs> I yeah. really well, want Hulk okay. to get his own armor. Here's the thing: in the earlier trailers, Banner is seen working on the Hulkbuster armor. Right, yep. that is true. But I, I yep. thought of that as him repairing it for somebody else. Like I, I saw it as like there's a character who thinks that they can be vital to the fight who can't really fight. Um, which is why I wouldn't be surprised if it was Shuri in the armor. Um, although I don't think that they would oh, do that. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I, I, I don't think they do that because Wakanda is Wakanda, and technically she would be next in how line is, for the throne. How so, is Hulk going to yeah. use any of the weapons in that thing? Well, no, I, so here's the thing. I don't think he's... I think he's just Banner in the suit. He's just Banner, and then when yeah. the suit... No, but I really up. want to believe they put. They had to take the time to put the armor on the Hulk. Yes. Yes. See, I, I, I imagine like the Hulk in the Hulkbuster armor, and he just starts wigging out, and, like rips off the glove of the like the the armor, and starts using it as a weapon. Yes. Yes, please <laughs> give me that. I will hit you with hand. Every minute of that. Yes. I want the whole movie to be that. He just starts pulling I... off pieces of armor and using as project using him as projectiles. Okay, cool. I'm down. <laughs> Here's my money. I'm just I'm just waiting for when Thanos punches him in the face and he does that thing that he does when he looks at you when he's angry. <laughs> well, he just kind of smiles and turns he's his like, head back towards like, him. You mean like in fucking uh, in Ultron when he spits in out his... Then Tony's like, 
Oh no. A- and in Thor. <laughs> like I can't wait for that moment. But Yeah. Turn towards the enemy. That's that's gonna be a good I love that entire sequence of Ultron. Go to sleep, 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 go to sleep. And and my favorite part of my favorite part of Ultron is when he goes into the Quinjet and Ultron is in there and Ultron is just like for God's sakes. Yeah, he pulls a he pulls a Kelsey grammar. Just oh good lord. It's so good. Have you guys seen the um Red Letter Media took lines from <clears throat> The Office. Uh, they took Danny California. Is it Danny California? Robert they, California. Robert California. They took all of his lines, or a lot of them, from The Office. I'm Robert California. Modulated them, and then dubbed them over into Ultron. <laughs> it is the fucking best. That's like, amazing. Like, Tony walks up to him in that, that fucking scene where he's like, uh, he's like, you're going to break your old man's heart. He's like, he's like, you think you can scrap with me? I'm the fucking lizard king, okay? <laughs> <laughs> a fucking... Or when uh, a Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver walk up on him when he's in the cloak, he's like, I had to sell the mansion. They were calling it a love paddle. Uh, what is it? They were calling it a love paddle. I hated that. He's like, but the economy hurt everybody. Nice. And then he ends it. He's like, they never really did improve on the Oreo, did they? <laughs> and then at the end, when he's, he's facing Vision, he's just describing a night with lots of cocaine and cigars. <laughs> he's like, well, I had a uh, one-man soiree last night with some uh, Colombian whites. God damn. And Jesus it just keeps cutting to Vision looking like grossed out and like weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'll link it and we're done. It's the fucking great. <laughs> the fucking Lizard King. Uh, all right. Um, is there anything we haven't covered on Infinity War in this trailer? Uh, no, it's great. No. It's great. It, yeah. it's great. Yeah. Cannot wait. Give yeah. it to me now. And I usually it's... avoid trailers this late, but I'm like, fuck it. Why, yeah. why not? This is this is great. So it dropped on my birthday. I had to watch it. <laughs> Sometimes you need the ice cream. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That, just uh-huh. and side note, just it's amazing how just two trailers for Marvel's, I mean, a, a piece de resistance of their right. film world can get us more excited than two movies from Warner Brothers DC. Yeah. Oh, wow. It would be, it yeah. would be where Batman <laughs> yeah. and Superman are in the same screen together, and we didn't yeah. feel anything like this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nope. That's a different story for a different data. Uh, yeah. That's, that's entire... Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to shoot down a story right now. Okay. Um, fuck the grudge reboot. Nobody cares. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, I, I, Nobody okay. gives a shit. I, <laughs> No, no one wanted that. First of all, nobody okay. asked also, for it. Nobody, nobody gives a. Sh- nobody even knows there was a fucking sequel. Okay. <laughs> on that note, Night Watch with Spike Lee. Why? Why are we doing this? Okay. So... <laughs> I like, don't is know. that him rebooting it like he did with Old Boy so successfully? Oh, oh God. God. Okay, so Sony, <laughs> Sony is just they keep on throwing out these life fests, and it's like that's not a good life fest. That's a bad. That's a bad Wait, hold on, fest. hold on. What is what is this Night Watch? Because I know so, of several different. Okay, well, that's, so, yeah. So Night Watch is a Mar- uh, is a Marvel character. It's like oh. appeared like twice with Spider Man, if I recall correctly. Yes. Look at oh, look at a picture just, of him. Oh no, no, Marlon, show me. It's the dude who looks like Spider Man twenty nine nine and Spawn. Yep. Yes. Yeah. It's the it's the laziest looking thing I've ever seen. It's the <laughs> most egregious knockoff Holy of Spawn shit. that I've ever seen. Like. <sighs> It's, it's like so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is. It's like. Yeah. Oh out god, that the, guy. Out of all the um, like Spider-Man characters, why this one? Like, there's so many. There I feel like so give a better shot. Ones. I feel like give a better shot at making a Kraven the Hunter movie. You can make a Prowler movie. My, and it'd be better than yeah. Prowler. My my guess is, and I'm, I'm just swinging here. Th- this is. This has the least to do with Spider-Man of any of the characters that they yep. got with the Spider-Man rights. Dude, this I mean... is this is an executive at Sony. Let's say he metaphorically has a bag of Spider-Man stuff. Right. And he reaches in shoulder deep <laughs> and goes, "Hey, what's this?" And that's how this came to be. Probably. Like, you know, I would sooner watch a Sleepwalker movie than I would this. I mean, I agree. Watch fucking, Nobody. I watch a fucking Dark Hawk movie before. I, I, I would. I would watch. I would watch a Rocket Racer movie before Night hey. Watch. Mm-hmm. Hey, you watch your mouth. About well, okay, Rocket so Racer. I, I did do a little research on this character just because I was curious, and because a couple of the online comic book news stuff that I pay attention to, uh, apparently his character has a lot to do with time travel. Um, <laughs> what? And like he. 
Uh, like he becomes uh, he becomes Night Watch because he meets an older version of himself uh, that's who's so actually sure. dead. I um, hate that. Hold on, let me make a phone call. Hi, Eobard. <laughs> right. <laughs> That entire description is a time paradox. How? how he meets a how? he meets an older version of himself who's dying on a street corner or whatever. Who's Night Watch? Right. And he's like, he's just, "Oh, I guess I have to become hero, Night Watch." I, I don't do that well, obviously. <laughs> yeah, that true. That <laughs> true. So, hey. Wait, he could just like easily save his life by not like not even approaching him, just walking away. Like, well, I guess also yeah, his son yeah. has cancer. So he's trying to find the cure I mean, to cancer. Sure, sure. Why not? What? Okay, that 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 posits that he sees himself dying on the corner and thinking to himself, "Huh, I could I could cure cancer with this." Like maybe because well, he I has like a nano a suit. I guess he, I he's just. He's just the worst doctor ever at that point. Mm-hmm. I, here's the thing: I don't get it. I don't understand it. But it, I don't know why Spike Lee is interested in this at all. Because Old Boy is the closest thing to this that he's ever done, and that I I, I couldn't that even finish bad. that movie. It was that movie's bad. It was that movie oh, terrible. Is, if you want to talk about a fucking toothless remake, <clears throat> they suck all the edge off of the original work. Old Boy mm-hmm. is a is a movie where someone tricks him into falling in love with his own daughter. Right. Yeah. So, oh, spoilers well, for Old it, Boy. It's sorry. The most, it's <laughs> the most. It's it's an elaborate revenge movie full of people you're not supposed to really like. Mm-hmm. No. And then at the end, like it's it's. It's, it's, intention- it's supposed to be bleak and unsettling and not fun and like Ode Sue is, is a piece of shit mm-hmm. who mm-hmm. you only get behind because you're like what like you, you start getting behind him because you're like what did you do that made someone lock you in a fucking room for 15 years right well, that, and then and like and then, the, and then like what horrific thing he's gonna do to the next person yeah but like the revelation is like oh it's not even that big of a deal and this dude fucking took it like it's it's people's reactions to things is why you watch that movie because this whole thing is could have been easily avoided. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yep. On another it's a movie note, about disgusting people doing <clears throat> disgusting things. On another note, I looked up the term Night Watch. There are so many things called Night Watch. It's not even funny. It's that's such why a... I, that's that's why yeah. I was like, hold on, what Night Watch this? Because I thought he was going to remake that Russian movie. That's well, they're gonna exactly remake no, that, that movie. Awesome. Yeah. They're gonna remake the movie with Josh Brolin, uh, <laughs> Ian McGregor, Nick Nolte, and Patricia Arquette. Oh my God! The... Oh. That's a I've thing that, that exists. <laughs> yep, yep. Ian McGregor's a night watchman at some hospital, and I think Nick Nolte's murdering people. Oh God, oh, God that movie! Oh yep. God, that movie! And then there's oh, a an e show that. called Night Watch. There's a book. There's so many things called Night Watch. It's also technically the Night's Watch. They are called the Night Watch. So yeah. that's that's a, that's a thing. <sighs> anyway, um, I don't have yeah, anything no. else to say about that. Yeah, yeah that's, other than, that's about I, it on that. I don't care, really. <laughs> like, Spike Lee is not good, so... Mm, also, I, not lately, on, at least. Uh, that's not fair, yeah. To go back to the Grudge reboot, um, stop remaking Japanese horror movies. I thought we were done with this. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um, no one has done it successfully. Not even it's the guy. Not, who made, it's not the guy possible who made for the a Western The guy who made the original Grudge made the remake, and even that wasn't that good. Right. Yeah. But if you want to put American money into a sequel to what's the versus movie called with the uh, is it Samara? Sadako versus uh, Kayako. If they put just American money, but they didn't touch it, they just gave American money to the Japanese, and they were yeah. like, "Make this movie." I'd watch that because why that not? movie. That, the, the premise of Sadako vs. Kayako is so insane to me. <laughs> you know you know how they get them to fight, right? How? They make uh, Kayako watch the watch the tape. Oh, God. Yeah. How? That doesn't... I don't know. I don't know. It's stupid. It's a ghost. It's dead. <laughs> why, so would it, why would it give a fuck about a TV? I don't know. Also, making two ghosts fight is the silliest thing. No, but I love it. I love it though. <laughs> like, I'm serious. Like, there's a reason. I love the very idea. There are more movies with werewolves fighting werewolves because that's cool. That's yes. There, there are significantly less movies with vampires fighting vampires because that's less cool, but still cool. Those you know fighting be ghosts, awesome, though? not cool. You know, be awesome. Which which is fighting witches? Which is fighting witches would be the greatest thing, except for the fact that they made that 
with Sebastian Stan, oddly no, enough. No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Are you talking about the Covenant? Uh, yes, no, the Covenant. Winter Soldier. No, the co- yeah, the Covenant. With... <laughs> Where I Sebastian really Stan it. plays a secret witch. Um, it's so weird. It's so... Wait, is that the, the one flight? with the uh, teenage boys that yes, become yeah. the... Uh... Yeah, that's actually based on a comic. With Draco Malfoy. What? Wait, oh, wait, hold what? On. Did you oh, just yeah. say it's based on a wait. comic? The yes, it is. is a comic? Ooh. If, if I'm thinking of the same movie, yes. <laughs> it's it's based on a very bad, like, late 90s comic. It oh, was, of course it was it only like a one shot, but yeah, it's, it's based Wait, on a comic. They made an entire movie on a one shot? Well, well dude, it's, Hunter, you know, it's a little you, bit okay. bigger, but. Hunter, do you know who Rennie Harlan is? <laughs> Isn't Rennie Harlan. He directed he did, Highlander um... 2. He, he directed a lot of, like, sequels to more Charlie's famous Angels? things. Did he? I think so. Did he? He's directed a lot of things. He directed um, the movie that killed. Uh, is it Louise? I'm looking. He did Cliffhanger. Louise. Um, uh, and Dream Master. Oh. He did Dream Master. Um, Nightmare yeah. on Elm Four. Um, he did one of. Oh, uh, um, yeah, he did do that one, right? Um, what, what also, I'm do? looking at his Wikipedia page, and there's a section called 2010s in the move to China, and <laughs> I don't think I need any more context. Guys, guys. <laughs> My head is a shark's <laughs> Um Yeah, the covenant is about, uh, I guess, warlocks. Yes. Um, who warlocks. who who have uh, battles with telekinetic blasts of air, and that's basically yes. it. And Sebastian Stan is trying to steal the telekinetic air powers from Taylor Kitsch. Um, yeah. Two names also, that we've never not probably Draco, see. Not not Draco Malfoy's in it. Right. No. And a lot of people that you've just never seen since. Um, I tried watching it. It's like if you condensed a season of Supernatural into two hours. Yeah, uh, bad. It's, it's, and lots be... of lots of rain and bad CGI. Mm-hmm. It's very bad. Also, there's a flying car. For, yeah, that's the thing that also happens. Uh, oh, well, the car scene is actually kind of interesting. Like, I think it's Taylor Kitsch's character like gets into a car accident, and then like basically <clears throat> seconds before death, he. He telepathically puts his own car back together and <laughs> lands in the driver's seat. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, um, I was I was incorrect about the comic. It was uh not based on the comic or any other book. The confusion oh. comes from the fact that Sony released a comic book of the same name, uh, oh, created for purposes oh. of promoting the film. Why did you this have to do that? I was going to make <laughs> this a future movie special. You son of a bitch. Oh, well, we could no. still do it because no. it's saying Top Cow comics are mentioned in the film's credit sequences. No, part of the rules, it has we're to be not, based off a of comic we're originally. We're not watching The Covenant. I'm putting my foot down. And we have, to all, we have to all vote that the characters are original superheroes if it's not I based will, off a of comic. So I will uh, I will burn the sorry. podcast to the ground. If we well, watch the anyways, talking about a, what should have been a CW show uh, to an actual, well, technically it was a WB show. Um... There was a, there was a Buffy revival, I guess. Um, I, I feel like this is coming in at exactly the wrong time because and, a lot of people aren't very big fans of Joss Whedon anymore. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so so this is a Fox thing actually, and it, I don't think it's actually. This might not be the TV version. This might actually be a revival of the movie. Oh, the um, movie that Joss Whedon wrote. Right. Um, I, I don't think he'll be involved. <laughs> At all, I don't. I'm not saying he will, but I I feel like this was coming off. This has probably been in production for a long time. Yeah, and it probably was running off of the hype of Avengers, even. Yeah, possibly, I can see that, but I I don't know. Like, I feel like Buffy, maybe Buffy got a lot of toy sales and stuff like that, ancillary stuff, and I think that's why they're talking about this because maybe it's fallen off. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the reasoning behind bringing Buffy back would be, other than just... To kill vampires, obviously. Yeah. Well, there is this whole thing... To of rid just, like... the world of the menace. Yeah, that's that's one thing. And also, like, that's reboot it, because why not? Um... Well, I mean, the comic series has been relatively successful, yeah. so I could see them deciding they want to do that. I mean, yeah. Buffy's kind of still huge. Like, I know a ton of people who talk about it to this yeah. day, like... I, I'm fair. sure they know there's an audience, and they're just like, "Why don't we just bring it back?" Well, maybe, yeah. maybe they would just do a direct sequel to it and reboot it that way. But I don't think Joss would be involved. Or they do a all. Doctor Who thing and make it a movie. Well, um, and I mean, speaking purely from a, uh, a 
I don't know, I guess a a trying to be woke male view is that Stay anything woke, that's that's thank you. Anything that's trying to be a female centered cast film is not a bad thing in this day and age. Fair. Yeah. And I could see them doing that for that fact because they're like, Well, you know what? Let's let's get out there while the iron is still hot mm-hmm. for things like this. While there's a huge movement behind the the idea of women being, you know, leads in action films. Hmm. Women can't kill vampires. <laughs> Or be Jedi. No. Or fight ghosts. No. Right. Women, women, two women ghosts can't fight each other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it is, so here's the thing, it is up to Joss, as I'm reading now. Um, it depends on him saying that he wants to do it. Um, uh. which, <sighs> uh, um, yeah. it's really just like, when I learned that he cheated on his wife, I was like, okay, fuck you. Um, I, yeah. I, I don't like you as a person, so... Yeah, it's the same thing as like when Stephen Moffat was like, "This is for the Brexiters too." I was like, "Oh, I've been defending you and saying you're not so mm. bad for like years, and then you say this." Okay, why, why I have you to eat like a lot this? of crow now. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's the same thing of like, wow, uh, I don't know how to feel about you as a person anymore. So I can't really mm. support your stuff. No. That's that's sad. If we didn't give his blessing to somebody else producing the show, I would be all over that. Um, well, this... I would. I would hope he would be smart enough to realize that would be what he should do. Right. No, he's not that smart. <laughs> well, yeah. As, mm, I, ah. it's, it's a separating art from artist thing right. too. I, I could definitely see him saying, "Yeah, I don't want to do it, but somebody else might have an interesting take with it." Um, mm-hmm. Especially if he like, if he just picked like. A female showrunner that he really like whose work he really respects um and just let that person go crazy with it and make their own version of it um because there's definitely a thirst for that kind of thing um you know a, a frequent joke on this show is uh teen wolf i bring it up all the time and i think a lot of people think that i'm joking um i am not um, but that show is incredibly popular with a very specific audience um and that show went away but it, it still has people who really want to watch it um and it's a very similar show in terms of mythology oh, and hang on i'll be right back audience um so i could definitely see them saying okay let's bring back buffy and let's make it bigger i guess or something of that nature. yeah i could definitely see them bringing it back for sure um, well i mean i could see them bringing it back just because tv budgets are better uh, along with special effects i mean the stuff yeah. that costs them like an entire season worth of special effects they could do in one episode mm-hmm. every episode yeah. so i mean scream came back as a tv show like we don't talk about that <laughs> i mean but you, you know what i mean like i know things, what you mean i know, yeah, I know exactly things. what you mean um, yeah, and I could definitely see them doing something interesting with it, whether they decided to reboot it or make a sequel show. Um, and, and sequel shows have worked in the past; they've done it well. I mean, Doctor Who is a I prime mean, example. We're um, about to get a slew of them from various networks. So. Yeah, and um, <sighs> yeah, uh, yeah. Well, and and real quick, back to the Night Watch thing. Something I was thinking about, and this is this is sorry, this is completely cynical viewpoint, and it's it's it, being a white male. It feels weird to say this, but I kind of feel like this is Sony just being like, well, Black Panther did really well, and it was a black director. Let's get <laughs> let's get a renowned black director and have him direct a black superhero I mean, film the, for us. This is okay, a yeah, like, showrunner like... involved in the show in that. He is a writer on the show. On the, I didn't bring that up, but he is a writer on Night Watch. Yes, um, he is. Which does which, give me more faith in the script. But it's Spike Lee, and he's Spike just going to let his ego take over. And Spike Lee is fair. Fair. Spike yeah. Lee is going to make something really weird, and we're all going to be like, "Why would you do that?" When you, yeah, the last you? the last good thing he did was the Inside Man, in he, my opinion. He once wrote the story to an NBA 2K16 game. <laughs> oh, that's the one with the ghost in it. Yeah. Okay, that sounds <laughs> actually pretty awesome. So it's what? not. It's not. It, he managed to make a ghost not awesome. Well, <sighs> damn. Well, did he have a ghost fighting another ghost then? That's no, the only, unfortunately, that's the only no. Uh, we're a failure. Um, it was a basketball ghost. Basketball God ghost. Damn it. Um, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Wasn't that a movie already? 
I think it was Basketball, Basketball Ghost. Ghost. Or are you thinking I, I of probably, Scary Movie 2? If uh, not, I'm thinking going to make a, it a thing. There was a basketball movie where somebody definitely was haunting a game or possessing the so, It was a comedy. I just remember of someone grabbing a basketball. Was that like a and, Teen and, Wolf and it, knockoff? Like remember, the original Teen Wolf? Like, remember, I can't remember what the fuck it was called, but like remember, I just remember someone grabbing a basketball <laughs> and then it, it suddenly having a face and going, Rah! Okay. In, in Space Jam when Bill Murray helped <laughs> out. Okay. Yeah, remember, remember in Air Bud when they didn't disqualify him because they said there's nothing in the rules against dogs? That was remember that. in Juana Man? <laughs> remember in White Man Can't Jump? Remember, remember hmm. in Air Bud how they used like 15 different dogs in that movie? I think like four of them died. Remember in Air Bud how they were killing him whenever they failed the scene? <laughs> remember there, was that... a go- there was a ghost in the basketball. <laughs> <laughs> remember that story where they said that a man... <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. What is this? Wait, what? No, what there, there was a story where a man had his limbs smashed and his like feet and arms smashed so he could fit into an Airbud dog suit. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is news to me, and I think we should I think we should move on. It was a, to see no, that. it was it was a false story that went around. Um, real quick, do we want to go? I think it was an onion thing. Right. <laughs> But no, uh, do we want to talk about any of the extras or the speedrun stuff? No, um, let's just move on to CW. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't even know anything about the Ranger trailer and Happy Death Day 2. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. I, um, I don't, as someone who was really into the idea of Happy Death Day, same. I don't give a fuck about a sequel because I thought that movie was very same. boring. So I didn't, so I'll, I'll, I'll briefly tell you about what I heard about it. Uh, so the sequel is apparently, they're, it's inspired by Back to the Future 2. Nope. Um, <laughs> nope. Stop right there. <laughs> Which will either be fascinating or terrible. So uh, that's all it's, I'll say on it. But... I'm betting Here, on it's here's, people. here's my quick take on Happy Death Day. You're presenting me with an awful character who's going to die about a hundred times in the film, and you didn't show me a single one of them. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we we had this conversation over chat, but I need to say this again. It's PG-13. You, I'm aware why? of this. You why? can't that actually sucks. go that gory with PG-13. Well, no, why that's what I'm saying. PG-13? Why was it PG-13? No, it, it, and yep. Why was it not a rated R horror comedy? Because that would have been a, astounding. It's a movie for teenagers. <laughs> it's and a movie teenagers, for And them. I hate them, and teenagers are stupid. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> I think that's yeah. my... Okay. Yes. We know your yes. inherent bias, then. I, 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 Here's the thing. I think that we've kind of killed the PG-13 horror movie in the recent years and i feel like there was a time where there were too many of them i feel like it goes Uh, back and forth we have too many and then we have not enough i feel like there should be room for both um personally so i don't see why having a 13 horror movie is bad you can do it with supernatural stuff however doing having a slasher premise as a 13 film is insulting and i blame this all on cry wolf there we go. That's Slash true. movies that... do not work. Oh, God. Do not work in How... You yep. pulled up Cry Wolf. Oh. Why would you do that? Okay, um, because... okay, the only speed round story that I really care about, because the Nick Cage thing is, guys, Nick Cage is playing Superman. Um, he finally gets it. Yay. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's cool. Um, Rosalie Carbone is the villain Luke? in the next season of Luke Cage. I don't know anything about the character, but apparently she's like a mafia characters so that's something that's interesting i guess um okay it, it sounds like they're kind of sticking to they're taking uh the criticism of last season hard it seems because uh, they haven't announced sort of another diamondback type character even though we all assume he's gonna be coming back at some point um but they're yeah, I can't wait. he's gonna show up in a mech I'm maybe fuck well no because it was remember he, when we last saw him he was with the doctor who gave luke his powers um, yeah. So Diamondback would just have Luke Cage powers, which works better, actually. I think works much better. Um, definitely. I would rather see Turk Barrett in a mech suit. God damn it! That's what I want <laughs> wow. now. Uh, okay, I want a whole show based on that. Thank you. Very <laughs> yes. much. I think that's what we all Barrett. want. Um, I want a Robo Turk show. But no, like it, it sounds like there's. It sounds like the next season is going to focus on what the first six episodes of Luke Cage got right, um, which I'm not against. I still have a problem with the fact that I don't know how 
you do a final confrontation between Cottonmouth and Luke in that season. I, I don't think that he was he should have stayed the full season. Um, I, like, I don't understand how you do something with that in a superhero show where you don't have the ending kind of being two people fighting. Um, but I'm interested to see if maybe they're doing that this season. Um, so, yeah, I guess. Any, any thoughts on Luke Cage season two, really? Connor, you weren't here on the Jessica Jones episode, so we didn't get any of uh, your thoughts on the teaser or anything. Um, I haven't even... I didn't know there was a teaser. That's... <laughs> God damn it. Um, okay, well, I, I guess that's what we'll... I have you know. a, I've had a rough week. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I put this in the chat last Friday before before your horrors began. Um, Dude, so... I don't even remember last Friday, okay? God damn it. Um... And my phone was probably dead. Well, it was a Friday. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, um, yeah, my phone was probably dead. My phone's dead now. My computer. You <laughs> son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, I guess, yeah, that's the end of our After Dark there, then. Hey, everybody. That's been an episode of The Phantom Zone. Uh, you can follow me uh, on Instagram at ReverseConnor. Keep an eye for some movie dumpster stuff. We have some... Just awful things coming out soon. <laughs> just the peril. Fucking whistling shits. I am so sick of the trash I've had to consume for this fucking podcast that I adore so much. But it is taking you wanted it. Toll on me. I did. I didn't know how much I wanted it though. You signed up for this. It's fucking a fucked up monkey's paw. Exactly. Hug a bunch. Fuck everything. <laughs> Um, a. a Haro on all the places, uh, whatever. Uh, Lost Haro podcast every week. Cohen Brothers episode is out. Go listen to that. Uh, I'm at Stroke God Millionaire on Instagram. Uh, you can follow my games collecting account, Mode Seven Games. Uh, don't follow me on Twitter. Fuck that site. Uh, yeah, f- fuck it. If you find my Snapchat, what the fuck ever. Do what you want. <laughs> I've given up. You do with this. Do things what you will. Uh, I'm Eric Fedorchek. Uh, you can find me on Eric underscore Fedor on Instagram. Dogs, comics, food. Although there will be an influx most likely in food because my wife got me an awesome cookbook for my birthday. Um, yeah, that's about it. And just you can hear me slowly wither into a pile of dust as we go forward. 